Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are shooting with Evelyn. It is Peter's third show. Peter's third shoot with her. She is incredible and you guys will get to meet her very soon. Um, Peter was requested to shoot with a translucent umbrella, which he hasn't done since his last studio. So that was like, what, 14 odd years ago? So he's gonna do that. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you him and Evelyn shooting together. And this one is just like a little quick snippet of what we've got on his bio. So if you wanna see the full version, you can head over there. I'll drop the link down below. I had a Billy Bob Trueblood contact me on, uh, I think he contacted me on YouTube and said he'd love to see me shoot through a translucent umbrella using either a 50 or an 85 mil lens. So I'm going to try that. So today is going to be a play shoot, so I'm going to try using it. I haven't used a translucent umbrella for I don't know how long and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. If I don't, I'm just going to then swap it with a real umbrella. Okay, so we haven't taken a frame yet. In fact, I haven't even turned the light on yet. Um, I'm just gonna guesstimate. Five's a good starting point. Well, it's halfway between one and 10. It's been so long since I've used a translucent. I'm a little bit rusty to what it's gonna do first off. I'm on... I've changed to an 80 mil, which is going to be more like about a 55, 60 mil on a DSLR. I'm at 100 ISO f8 at 160th of a second. So just do my first test shot. Oh, I can make this work. Hmm, that's going to be quite nice lighting. What do you reckon? Mm-hmm. I've got about two stops of light to add to this to get the exposure right. And I'm going to move the umbrella a little bit while I'm doing this as well. So let's get two stops put into this. I'm just going to bring the umbrella across her a little bit, which unless I pull off a touch of light and re-set up my shot. Cool. That's really cool. That two stops is a pretty good guess. Just going over on her shirt and that, so I'm just gonna pull back a section. And my gut feeling is saying, why haven't I been using translucent? This is actually really nice. So it's been a long time since I've, in fact, I don't think I've used a translucent in this studio. I think I've used it in my old studio. That's, that's at least 14 years ago. That's a really pretty picture. I think I liked it back pointing in there. I think I've got plenty of room there. I have, yeah, I've got about a third of a stop, which is normally what I'm looking at doing. I'm gonna build on, it's not my favorite shot in the world, but I'm gonna build my lighting, my, my finish based on that. So let's drop in, it's on green channel. I think it's gonna be the best I want. The detail I'm getting off the green, I am gonna put a little bit more chromey skin in onto her, which means I wanna, and I'll pull my contrast to the max, and that will start to get this pop. All right, let's just take a couple of pictures on this. Oh, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. In fact, I'm gonna not have the clarity on this. Sorry, am I feeling okay? <laughs> Yeah, no, I actually like it just like that. Now we are a little bit, uh, because I've pulled this down, it's made it a bit more dark, but what I might do is if I pull a little bit in, maybe to there, let's see what we get. So I'm just playing around with my levels till I get the toning how I want to actually really like that there. So no clarity at all, but uh, heap of shadow fill to allow for what I've done with the contrast. I'm going to shoot this now and because Evelyn and I haven't done lots of shoots together, I'm still going to be in full training mode and getting her to feel what I want. So this has to be a good thing, not a bad thing, right? So the experience in your head has to be, this is a good experience, I want this, I really want to take, I'm going to take a good picture, it's not I want to, I am actually going to take a great picture. These are cool. That whole thing is if you believe it, you do it. It's you watch a golfer. If a golfer thinks they're gonna sink this long part, they will sink it. So if you believe that you're a Candace or an Adrian Lima or someone like that, 
you're going to glow like they glow. It's that simple as have that confidence to say, hey, look at me. It's nearly like if you're going out to a party or a club or something and you've got the best friggin' dress in the world. You just want everyone to look at it. Yeah. So you walk it with confidence. Anything that feels posy, I don't want you doing. It's got to feel like this is how I see it. Don't try and be a model. Just be how, whoever you are. Cool. That's kind of cool. That's cool. And don't let thinking, you can't think. It's got to be about feel. You've got to start moving till it feels good. So when you're doing things, you want, oh, that felt nice. That feels really good. These are cool. The lighting side of things is really easy. That's the easiest part in the world. Getting the subject to look amazing, that's the hardest thing in the world. And I see my job as a photographer as more about getting the subject right more than getting the lighting right because I really, the lighting, you can stumble around and try and find whatever you want. Is that comfortable how you're sitting? Right, change. I don't want your pose sitting, I want you comfy. Cool, that's really cool, that's really cool. Cool. So what I'm going to do is just do a reset and let Evelyn have a look at what we shot and then we're going to come back and do part two. Okay, this is only my third ever shoot with Evelyn and we've been going along and we're getting the odd face that's pretty and I like, but it's still not the emotion I'm trying to get. It's, it's lacking, it's sort of a little bit, is this pretty? I hope this looks good. It's not someone with confidence because I think, well, she mentioned that she's finding this shirt not very attractive or sexy. So then we quickly said, let's try an uh, implied topless. And the first frame, her face was better. And then it just went to next level with what she was doing. And we got these incredibly cool shots to one of the shots I absolutely adore. So we're just gonna shoot a little bit more of this, but this now suits my um, Nothing But Shoes book. And I might do a little bit of a change at the very end for that book. The difference that's happened to her face is just incredible because now she feels more beautiful, more attractive to herself, which makes it easier for her to look attractive for other women. That's really pretty. Now the other thing we did, we did start off with some music, but now she doesn't need anything cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Stunning. Cool, that's so pretty. Cool, that's That's pretty. Lovely, awesome, awesome. So do you want to sit now? Side, stay side on, stay completely side on to me. Drop your elbows down a little bit there, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, that's stunning. That's stunning, that's really pretty. Cool. So part of the reason I've posed her like this, this is beautiful. Just keep moving that face. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So hopefully she's remembering her thoughts and the feelings that she's having now. One of the reasons I've caught her into that pose is these, without having to put her into super tiny G or anything, it's very easy for me to remove that now. It just allows me to have her still comfortable and get beautiful faces, but then get the look of implied nude. That's really pretty. Cool, cool. Stunning, stunning. Cool. That's really pretty. That's stunning, stunning. That's really pretty. That's beautiful. We've ended up going completely different direction than what I was originally aiming at, but I think we've got some amazing pictures. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. As I said, if you do want to see the full version of this, it is over on Inspire, so head over there. And other than that, I will pop up some other videos for you to check out now.